Hi dear students, uh, when a damper is used in a vibratory system in order to reduce the amplitude of vibration for every cycle of vibration, thereby a, term, a terminology arised named as damping coefficient, so which is nothing but the ratio between damping force and damping velocity. So damping coefficient is nothing but the damping force offered by a damper per the damping velocity and logarithmic decrement is nothing but the amplitude reduction factor it is nothing but the logarithmic ratio of two consecutive amplitudes of any vibratory system so in this lecture video we are going to have an idea about the determination of damping coefficient and logarithmic decrement of a vibratory system with an example so in this case it is given as the measurements on a mechanical vibrating system show that it has a mass of 8 kg so n is 8 kg and that the springs can be combined to give an equivalent spring stiffness of 5.4 newton per millimeter this is the value of spring stiffness yes if the vibrating system has a dash pot damp, uh, damper attached which exerts a force of 40 newton this is the magnitude of the damping force provided by the damper to the system when the mass has a velocity of 1 meter per second, damping velocity value is 1 meter per second, we are asked to find out the critical damping coefficient Cc, damping factor zeta, logarithmic decrement del and ratio of two consecutive amplitudes. <coughs> so the given data are represented here with the denotion. So m is equal to 8 kg, s value is represented in SI unit 5.4 into 10 to the power 3 newton per meter. Damping force and damping velocity values are given in the problem as 40 Newton and 1 meter per second. We are asked to find out the critical damping coefficient Cc. Damping factor zeta is otherwise known as damping ratio, which is the ratio between damping coefficient and critical damping coefficient. Logarithmic decremental and ratio of two consecutive amplitudes. So first damping coefficient as already I have said. C is nothing but damping factor by damping velocity. So 40 divided by 1, 40 newton per meter per second. Critical damping coefficient Cc can be calculated using the formula 2m into omega n, where m is the mass of the object under consideration. Omega n is the angular frequency, which can be calculated using the formula root of s by m. So where s is the equivalent stiffness of this system, m is the mass of the object. So Omega n value is obtained as 25.9808 radian per second. So Cc is equal to 2 into mass m is equal to 8 kg, omega n is 25.98. Cc value is obtained as 415.6928 Newton per meter per second. Next comes to damping factor, which is the ratio between damping coefficient and critical damping coefficient. So damping coefficient is found out as 40 Newton per meter per second. Cc value is 415.6928 Newton per meter per second. So zeta value is obtained as 0 0.0962. Since the value of damping factor is less than 1, the system is said to be under under damped vibration condition. Next comes to logarithmic decrement. Del can be found out using the formula 2 pi zeta divided by root of 1 minus zeta square. Uh, by substituting the value of zeta, we can obtain the value of logarithmic decrement del as 0 0.6073. So to find out logarithmic decrement other than this formula, we are having two more formulae. Del is equal to ln natural logarithm of consecutive amplitudes xn and xn plus 1. So del value has been calculated in the previous step as 0 0.6073 which can be equated to this formula to find out the ratio of consecutive amplitudes of vibration. So xn by xn plus 1 is equal to e power 0 0.6073 that is 1.8355. Thank you.